All right, guys, Dave Man Max 6. We are back at the Mecca, and this, uh, this weekend is the California Pro Championship. And what more fitting than to have the 2017 California Pro Champion, Gerald Williams. <laughs> Gerald? Hey, how are you guys doing? <laughs> Welcome to Muscle Beach TV, man. It's very, very exciting. First time on Jake Alter TV. Um, I'm Woo! glad. I know, right? Woo! Yeah, <laughs> that's right. I'm glad you're here today. I, I, this is last minute, you guys. He just told me yesterday, I'm coming to California. I'm going to, to uh, Venice this weekend for the show. You know, I got some stuff to talk about. So here we are. Um, very glad to have you here, man. It's been a while since I saw you. Uh, you look good. Uh, you look uh, healthy. And you got some big news. So tell me why you are here right now. So yeah, definitely. It's uh, so we're what seven days out from the California Pro. Eight to eight days out. Right? Who knows? So I, I flew down this morning actually to see Jimmy Bluff, who I do tissue work with. I fly back tonight. You know, I'm, I'm a big believer in active recovery. Um, you've got to train hard, but you've also got to recover hard to be able to make sure your your gains and everything that you're doing really really makes its way to to be able to stay, particularly when you know, you're in the real home stretch of a contest prep. But also, you know, my book came out last year. And Jay Cutler wrote the forward for that book. And the significance of that is that Jay Cutler was the last IFBB pro bodybuilder in 2004 to write CEO Muscle. Um, and so in 2017, my book came out and I was like, wow, like, you know, when I talked to Jay, I was like, Jay, you know, I have this idea. I keep getting the same questions. I want to put it in a book. Um, and I really feel like he he blazed the trail for bodybuilders to be seen very differently. Um, as, as scholars in that way, right? You know, I think the first book before that was Flex Wheeler's Flexibility, which is more of an autobiography that someone kind of wrote in that sense. But Jay, you could tell he really put himself into his book. Um, and I respect him so much. And I was like, hey, you know, if there's anybody that, that I want to be a part of this project with me, it was him. And he was super down. He was super cool about it. So he wrote the forward. We've got a copy of it. Let's, let's see that book, man. It is very exciting. The 25th hour. And it kind of looks like CEO muscle it, a little bit. It looks bit. a little huh? bit. Yeah, Jay had the side <laughs> tricep on there. It, it was black and red. I remember the book because yeah, it was, yeah. I mean, and Jay signed it. The thing is, I saw Jay. Uh, he guest posed at the San Francisco show in 2004. Mm. And I had the book and he signed the book for me. And what he said in the book was, follow your dreams. Um, 2005, I won the Teenage Nationals. That was one of my dreams because he had you made You were a kid back then. Yeah, that yeah, was, I was 18 <laughs> when, I, when I met him. Um, and then, you know, fast forward, I had taken seven years off. I turned pro my third show back. Um, my fourth pro show, I won. Um, and then I did the Olympia. I got 15th last year. Um, you had a good year last year. I had a good year. It was yeah. a really good year. Um, I learned a lot. Very humbling at those higher level shows. Yeah. Um, very humbling. And so really, it's just now a matter of being able to um, be a good ambassador for the sport. Um, I've done a lot of the things that I've wanted to do and really be able to to take the mindset that I've really had to learn and, and that mindset has been able to transfer over to other areas and other dimensions of my life and really be able to share that with people. Because I think bodybuilders get pegged as this, this monolithic group that all about training and eating and all the other stuff, but it's really about mindset and discipline. And that mindset and discipline can transfer over into every aspect of your life if you allow it to. You know, Arnold says that all the time. Yeah, it's a, yeah he did. And, and you know, it's whatever you apply yourself, you know, being able to train twice a day, being able to eat the same food, I've taken four weeks off in a year and a half since March of 2016. And they've only been vacations with my wife. That's the only time. I haven't missed a meal. I haven't missed a workout the entire time. Wow. Really since I've turned pro to be able to get to this point. Um, and you've got to be all in with it, whatever you do um, in that space. And so I, on, on top of conveying that to folks at being all in, but it's also really having a goal, having a vision for yourself and really being able to set yourself up with small rewards along the way about, you know, saying you've been able to check this box. Now what's next? So tell me a little bit what's in the book, in, in, uh, you know, in the broad spec life. Yeah. I mean, so what I what I talk about in this book um, and much like what Jay talks about is really how he got to where he is. And so I, I, a lot of times people ask me, you know, I, I, I teach, um, I do have a research job. I just started a, actually a, a, a startup for a national education organization. With some folks. I know you're um, so busy. I remember when we shot last yeah. year, we were, we were shooting. You're like, oh, I just came from this and from that. Yeah. And I don't know how you juggle 24 I'm, hours I'm in a day. I'm developing now. So I've got, I'm starting my new, my first ground up construction project. Oh, wow. um, I still have my real estate portfolio. I still have my real estate business. Um, you know, and so and now I mean, it's it's and I'm competing. <laughs> That's right. Don't forget. That. Don't forget. There's a prep <laughs> happening through all of this. Um, and and you know, one of the big best pieces of advice I got years ago from Dave Palumbo was have five streams of income. And you know, he gave me that advice I think when I was 19, um, and that sat with me, and I, it's transferred over into how I do things. And so I get those questions about 
how am I able to juggle all those things and try and do them at a relatively high level? Um, and I lay that out here. So I, I do always have a vision and goal for myself. Um, I always try and make sure that I have steps. I always try and make sure that I listen to the counter narrative, the positive things that allow me, you know, there's so much negative out there and there's always going to be something out there that, that's going to detract you from what you want to do. So really positive reinforcement, visualizing what it is that you want, laying out plans, um, having, a, having a list at the beginning of the day, like being able to just check things off, celebrating the small victories, and then also really being able to shut it down and recharge, yep. understanding the value that sometimes you have to take a half step back to take two steps forward. Right. Um, and so a lot of that is outlined in this book just with life examples, um, skill sets, things that people can really try and apply to advance their own life, whatever they want to do. If they want to be a, an entrepreneur, they want to be a bodybuilder, they want to be an athlete, they want to be you know, a, a student, a doctor, the skills are transferable. Right. Yeah. Where can they get the book, Gerald? Amazon. You can order. Oh man, you're on Amazon. That's I'm, awesome. It's an Amazon bestseller. It was actually made it to be a bestseller. That is awesome. So man. yeah, and you can order big the, time. You can order the Kindle version, so you don't have to have the hard copy. Or you're gonna ask you that. Yep. And or you can order the, the hard copy, and they send it to you. Global shipping. So you're making money, dude. <laughs> you know. Book? I, you know what's funny? It, it makes a little bit of money, and it's not. It's not even about that because I, I give know, more I copies away. It's really about. I, I, I this is my people. copy, by the way. This is the. This is your copy, and someone else wanted a copy on the way. I was like, I don't have any more. Um, but the idea, the idea is really just to share information. Information is the the biggest. It, it, people think currency and like money is really like, oh, it's the thing. It's knowledge. It's information. And as as we get to these places of, of social success, right? I I wouldn't necessarily deem myself as successful by my own standards, but socially, people say, oh, you're successful. Okay. Well, let me share with you how I did that. And it's not about how do you monetize that because that monetization is coming in some other type of way, in some other form. It's not a like for like all the time. You paid forward. Right. And that's, and that's it because who knows? Like I said, I met Jay in 2004 when I was 18. And as far as bodybuilding goes, that was really a big push for me to be able to be where I am now. Um, and so just how that works, you never know five, 10 minutes with someone or seeing or having that engagement, what that will do for them and what type of trajectory they might send them on. What a great point. That's awesome. Gerald, let's talk bodybuilding for a second. Yeah. What is next for you? Cal Pro. Eight days, nine days. Are you doing the Cal for real? Doing the Cal Pro. Yeah. Are you joking right now? Are you mean, you're defending the title? Defending the title. How come I don't know about this? You know, I keep it pretty under the radar. That's why you're wearing the big hoodie right now? Yeah. You're, are you Are you like 100% serious? I eight, eight days out. Oh my God! The I didn't know that. This is the contest prep. That is a scoop, man. It's yeah. awesome. Yep, yeah. and you're the first. This is the first exclusive. <laughs> the Cal Pro. I'm I'm going to try and be the first defending California Pro champion. I'm stoked, dude. You know what? The beard kind of just. Uh, cool, yeah, man. I know. Cause I'm like, oh, you okay. Look really close, so it's like, mm, he's he's there. <laughs> Yeah. Oh my God, that is so cool. That's too bad we didn't do any training or something like that. Well, that's okay. I got an interview out of you, yeah, so that's cool. You know, the training is overrated. You guys, everyone trains. Yeah. We talk about mindset. I would say this prep has been specifically more. I think it's been more challenging than a lot of the other ones. I think last year I was really able to. I was, I had done a show in December or November, um, and then I was really just focused the entire time. And this time I really, you know, the the thing was I needed to grow. And so that was really a new aspect for me because in my entire career, I'd never taken the opportunity to grow. Mm -hmm. And so I had a few months to do that. I've, I've added muscle in the places that I really needed to feel much more balanced, um, you know, top to bottom, brought some things up, made my strengths even stronger. Um, and really this year I was able to, to dial it in, but man, it was, it was a struggle because I had so many other things going on, the new construction, um, you know, my wife graduated. I almost was thinking not doing the show. My wife's graduation is actually this uh, this Sunday, oh, wow. two days from now. And I thought it was going to be the Thursday before the show, and I wouldn't have to be a chance to fly. And I was like, oh, so it worked itself out. Um, well, but you know, you know what this means? That means that you're going to be next on the queue now because now I have to put this up before the show. <laughs> <laughs> you just Let's threw me it. for a loop. Let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> But it's yeah, timely, man. It's time yeah, sensitive. It's time sensitive. <laughs> but yeah, no, this this prep has been just because I've had, we, we created the startup, um, this national organization for, for our youth development. Um, and so writing the grants for those, you know, the new construction with the, the plans and the land and getting all the development, the funding approved. Wow. Um, you know, I've got another, you know, project going, you know, regular work. I've got, a, I give my finals for my class on Monday. Wow. It's It's been a grind and it's been a grind unlike uh, any other year, but... Um, I always say that the contest prep is a spiritual experience. It helps 
really, you know, the idea is not necessarily the outcome, but who you become as a person along the way. And I feel like it's helped me grow as a person more than maybe any other prep that I've been through. Wow. Gerald, it's always such a treat talking to you, man, because you have so much to say, and I don't have to have too many questions because you just you roll with it, and I love that. I'm so excited that you're actually, I'm so excited about your book. Thank you for bringing me a copy. I'm so excited that you're uh, giving this you on Culture TV since it seemed to mean a lot to you, and I know he likes you. He was actually excited to, about this interview, and I, I, can't, I can't wait for next week. I'm wishing you the best of luck, and I hope you repeat, man. Thank you. Thank you so much. Jay, thank you so much for the support. I appreciate you. Thank you. This is Dave Mad Max 6 with Jarrell William, the 2017 and possibly 18 California Pro Champion back for Jake Cutler TV on Muscle <laughs> Beach TV. Back and, to back. And we're out. You heard him. <laughs>